uh, commit the attack on uh, on Yemen. Mm -hmm. uh, the reports has been clarified that uh, Israeli warplanes and pilots have used the neutron bomb on uh, Naka Mountain in in the capital of Sana'a in Yemen. Uh, it has caused severe damage uh, as as far as 10 kilometers, uh, uh, and you know it's equal to a part of a nuclear bomb. Um, they just have uh, changed the Saudi flag. Uh, they just put the Saudi flag on the Israeli warplanes, uh, and also we have uh, witnessed joint announcement uh, from uh, Saudi and uh, Saudi and uh, and Israel against Syria and Iran and uh, and Yemen. Mm -hmm. Now and then did we also, you know, the um, uh, if you we can see, we all noticed that uh, the slogan of the Yemeni people against Zionist Israel, so this is the uh, the more reason for joint coalition, Saudi and Israel. Uh, there's so many comments uh, between Israel and Saudi in, in the aggression and the wars and appetite and and hate against Iran and their allies. Um, so um, so there is, there is, you can say there is two, um, uh, uh, two parts fighting each other, the right and wrong. And uh, we all, that's very clear now that, uh, that, uh, uh, that like the resistance in Lebanon, uh, the, uh, the government in Syria, the, um, uh, the people in Iraq, uh, and uh, Iran and Yemen, you know, they fight and, uh, they fight and just the Israeli, we can say the Israeli coalition. Mm -hmm. So it's not Saudi Arabia coalition, it's, it's an Israel coalition. Right. And, all what we can see now, they all fight just for the, the safe existence, because Israel know that uh, that it's uh, coming to an end. Uh, so the so the, the 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 war is around Israel. Just uh, just just all the wars just to protect Israel at the end. That's right. Thank you so much, Abu Ali, for being with us. Your presence is really precious always. And uh, Sister uh, Fatima, if, yes. uh, if if you just announce my name, Hussein Dirani. <laughs> oh yes, uh, thank you. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, Hussein Dirani. Thank you so much. Thanks for okay. mentioning that. Thank you. Yeah, thank, <laughs> and thank sorry you very for much. mentioning the uh, the uh, name I had on your ID. Yes, that's okay. <laughs> Uh, well, everyone knows I've been known by Abu Ali Hussein Dirani. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. Thanks for thank mentioning you so much. that. Thank, and Michal, thank you so much. Thanks. Yes. Michal, is there anything you want to add? Um, a few things. Um, when Ali said earlier on um, that he doesn't believe that Britain, America and Israel would um intervene to help Al Saud. I would point out that the Zionists supported the American and Brit British intervention during Desert Storm. So that was for the protection of Al Saud. And Hussein mentioned um Bandar bin Sultan and he correctly identified him with the Takfiri groups and the intelligence arming and supplying those groups because as armed madhouse by Greg Pallast and the fall of the House of Bush by Craig Unger highlight both Bandar bin Sultan and um, Prince Turkey um, basically supplied tax ferry groups to help America and Britain's and Israel's agendas and I think that, sh that should be highlighted as well and he correctly identified that um, Israel <clears throat> was one of the states in the coalition that f for Saudi's coalition against Yemen and um, there was Another thing I was, yep, yeah, it, it, everything that is being done, and I mean, it could be the tech theories in Tripoli, Tripoli and North Lebanon um, attacking the Alawites, it could be Syrian or tech theories in Syria fighting the Syrian army, Al Baath, 
or against any pro-Assad forces. It could be in Yemen fighting Ansar Allah or the Houthis, or it could even be fighting the, any of the forces fighting against um, the Takfiris in Iraq. But it's all seen as by the quartet that I identified, which is Britain, America, Israel, and Saudi Arabia, as a proxy proximity war, a way of hitting Iran's interests without hitting Iran itself. And that's how I'd like to finish. Thank you. And thank you. I'd like to thank thank everybody for participating in this video call. Thank you, Michal. It was a pleasure for us to have you here with us. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, Muhammad, Mr. Nosrati, have you anything to you want to add? خدمت شما چه نکته بسیار مهمی که در رابطه با حمله عربستان به یمن به نظر میرسه مظلومیت مردم یمن هستش که ما میبینیم در رسانه های دنیا مردم یمن بسیار مظلوم واقع شده شما ترجمه خود Thank you. Um, the uh, the point that we have to uh, mention and we have to concentrate on is the innocence of the people of Yemen. They are so uh, innocent uh, uh, around the world. ما در جنگ قزه یا حمله اسرائیل به قزه شاید بودیم که بسیار از رسانه‌های حالا جریان مقاومت و در شبکه‌های مجازی بسیار از فعالین فضای مجازی در کشورهای مختلف خصوصا کشورهای غربی اومدن و جنایت اسرائیل رو با انتشار تصاویر و فعالیت مختلف به همگان نشون دادن During the Gaza war and the attack on Israel on Gaza we saw and witnessed that um, all activists around the world showed the um, disaster and catastrophe uh, that Israel has done in Gaza اما در مورد مردم یمن با اینکه این مردم تعداد شهدای خیلی بیشتری دادن تعداد مجروحات بیشتری دادن تا الان و جنگ بسیار طول مدت تری رو داشتن و جنایات خیلی بیشتری رو از سمت سعودی ها تحمل کردن ولی ما می‌بینیم که اصلا در شبکه‌های حتی اجتماعی در جریان اصلی رسانه که خب دست نظام سلطه از هیچ ولی حتی در جریان مقاومت و خدمت شما از کنم که فعالان زده جنگ دنیا هم باز میدیم چندان مطرح نیستن But about the Yemen situation uh, despite Yemen has had more martyrs and has had uh, more ruins um, compared to Gaza and the war has been um, has lasted so, so, much, so much longer but the activists around the world do not um, pay attention, pay enough attention to this war and do not uh, spread the news about the Yemen war and the um, murders of Saudi Arabia in uh, Yemen, in the world, and in the social media. And uh, this is uh, what Mohammed says is exactly what uh, you mentioned to me, Michal, that uh, why uh, people do not care and more people should care. And that is the issue about Yemen. People, um, maybe, maybe people care about this, but they um, do not um, feel the responsibility to um, maybe the, I believe that they do not feel the responsibility uh, about spreading the news as much as they feel the responsibility about Gaza. درست بله همین مسئله که گفتید این که باید تلاش بکنیم ماها با عنوان فعالان رسانهی که این احساس مسئولیت رو که شما مسئولیتی رو در رابطه با مردم یمن داشته باشیم و واقعا باید چند برابر نسبت به جنگ قزه کار بکنیم تا بتونیم این ظلم بزرگی که داره انجام میشه رو به دنیا بشناسیم. And we as the media activists have worked hard to make the world know about the uh, Yemen and we have to multiply our, our activities uh, toward Yemen and have feel more responsibility about this war. ممنون. 
Yemen's military and civilian forces have started missile attacks on Saudi Arabia. How do you think that would affect the future of this war? Well, um, I think the psychological effect on the bases uh, on the border of Yemen and Saudi Arabia, I think the psychological effect of the missiles is wreaking havoc in the minds of the Saudi Saudi army or border border guard. Um, as we've seen on in the reports, we've seen that the uh, Yemeni forces and popular forces have taken several bases, and while well, they've it's terrible, but they've killed several Saudi forces, um, but they are defending themselves, and uh, the other the other Saudi. Uh, soldiers fled and we've seen it they've taken weapons and and uh, vehicles so we know that the missile attacks are getting well through well into their heads uh, big psychological effect right. Thank you. and a psychological effect as well on the Saudi government because the resistance is able to penetrate their border take a base and take everything that they have and go back into Yemen. So I think it's a psychological effect all the way around. So I think that'll have a, a big a big part in the morale of the Saudi army. They're definitely going to need some help mm -hmm. if they if they decide a ground invasion. Uh-huh. Right. Thank you. You're welcome. Are the Saudis brave enough to fulfill ground attacks on Yemen and if so, what will be waiting for them? Um I'm not sure about brave, stupid enough, maybe yes, <laughs> pardon my language, um, but I don't think that, that they will act alone. I think that we've already seen them, they tried to drop Pakistan into the Pakistani army into the uh, aggression, and we know that the Egyptian Egyptian army is, I believe that I read a report not long ago that the Egyptian army is ready to go if they decide for a ground invasion. Um, I believe some other Gulf countries are as well. Um, but they couldn't do it alone. Like as I said in the question before, I, they're going to need some help because of the resistance. I mean, and of of the people, and it's and it's not just the Houthis; it's everybody. Sunni, Shias, Christians, Jews, and Yemen. They're they're all subject to the 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 aerial campaign uh, in their in their cities. And as far as from what I know, that everybody pretty much lives in very close proximity of each other uh, in these cities. And there's not really a big sectarian problem in these cities like we see. Like we, like we see all over the place, there's not a sectarian problem until Saudi Arabia f starts funding terrorism in these countries, and terrorist groups such as Al Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula. Uh, but I think what's going to wait for them is very stiff resistance of the people, and they they're definitely not going to be able to do it alone. <laughs> that's that's my that's my opinion. They're even with American weapons, they're still not able to squash the resistance of the people of Yemen after 50 something odd days of bombing they need too already much foreign helps right and it's going to is i think eventually it'll go it'll go to a ground war mm -hmm. but i think it'll be a very devastating ground war well actually it'll be a devastating ground war for not just the saudis but for the yemeni people right right do you think the attack of Saudi Arabia on Yemen can benefit the stability of the uh, al Saud regime? Uh, can it benefit the stability? I don't believe so. Um, I believe that there are already many Saudis, uh, Saudi Arabian citizens who are fed up with the Saudi Arabian regime or the al Saud regime and um, I don't believe that attacking civilians and the video and pictures coming out of Yemen will help their cause. I mean, I, I have I have encountered some some Saudi Arabian citizens on Facebook and and, and video in the 
the comment sections of articles and videos who are very very opposed to this and I see I see more and more of them who are opposed to it but you don't see a whole lot but you know that they're out there they're just afraid to say something and because we, we see we see like in the, the case of Sheikh Limmer mm -hmm. he uh, spoke out against that and and I believe that there are many 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 civilians we can see in the uh, videos of protests of uh, about the war on Yemen the people in uh, can't remember the name of the city in Yemen uh, or not Yemen Saudi Arabia yeah Saudi Arabia that uh, protested after the the mosque bombing mm -hmm. and they were pro not just protesting the mosque bombing but they were protesting the uh, the aggression on in Saudi Arabia on on from yeah, of Saudi Arabia on Yemen and uh, I don't think it's going to benefit them at all because it'll be more than just the Shia predominant areas where Shia and Sunni live together peacefully and not have this sectarian divide that that the Saudi government pushes so I, I'm, I'm sure it's not going to benefit their their stability in any way possible Thank you so much, everybody, and hope to visit you all in the next conferences. Thank you. Thank you. Sure, you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That was a great, you. Uh, you know, talking, and also I want <laughs> to thank all the participants in this, uh, you know, uh, group talk. And I really used and I really, you know, uh, appreciated all the words that was, you know, told in this discussion. Thank you thank so you. very much. It was much. a pleasure thank for you. us to have you too, Ali, and thank you, Hossein. I, I, really, I, I really agree with uh, I really agree with uh, with Muhammad's point. Uh -huh. uh, we should uh, we should do more and more uh, emphasize on the uh, destruction of of Yemen uh, Yemeni people and support the Yemeni people. Yes, exactly. We yeah. have to work harder, much harder. Yeah. Thank That's you, right. Ali. Thank you, Hossein. Thank you, You're Michal, welcome. and thank you, Muhammad, for joining us tonight. Thank Always you. welcome. See you in next conferences. Goodbye.